Event reporting. So Google Analytics event reporting highlights some of the top events which we're tracking. Let's first review what events are. So events are something that we need to program separately outside of the standard Google Analytics implementation. And it's typically something that we set up to track specific user actions that are along the path to a goal. So uh, some typical events, you know, we'll kind of explain that by example, would be adding something to cart. So in this e-commerce implementation, before someone can check out, they need to add something to cart. So we may want to track each time something is added to cart. Um, some of the other examples might be watching a video, for example. So maybe you sell a product or a service and, you know, you really need to get people to watch the video to understand it. Therefore, you want to track each video view as an event. Um, you know, and some other things, maybe they sign up for a, a newsletter of yours or fill out a, a certain form um, or interact with a slider in a certain way. There are a number of implementations uh, for events and each one is custom to the website at hand. Uh, starting with the event overview report, we get a very high level view as we do with our other overview reports of event activity. In this example, we can see about 392 total events and about 130 of those were unique, meaning that unique sessions created those events. Um, the number of sessions with events. Down towards the bottom here, we can toggle between the event category. So events are broken up into categories, actions, and labels, basically. And it's sort of a hierarchy there. So at the top level, um, we assign a category to an event. And because our event is tracking an add to cart, the category we've called products, completely customizable by us. Um, the action that we've assigned to this particular event is add to cart. So that just lets us know that somebody added a product to the cart. And then the label is a little uh, more granular level detail that tells us that the defense primer was added to cart. So um, these are sort of, this is the overview report. We're going to jump into the top events report, which is going to give us a little bit more detail. So in the top events report, we get a similar view where we start with the event category. Um, right here, we can toggle the primary dimension to look at different actions. Um, again, we we could, we're only tracking add to cart. We could actually track remove from cart and see that as a different op um, auction, or, or I'm sorry, a different uh, action. Uh, we could also have different actions such as customizing a product or something like that. But this implementation is pretty basic. Um, what's going to be most interesting to us on this example is going to be looking at the event label where we're actually passing to Google Analytics the SKU of the product that's getting added to cart. So this is a great report for us to try to figure out, you know, which items get added to cart most often. Uh, you know, we may want to do things and compare, you know, the, the number that are added to cart compared to the number that are actually purchased each month. Um, so it gives us some data behind that. We can make that comparison uh, and that sort of thing. So this basically paints the picture of events which are occurring um, in detail. When we jump down to the pages report in event tracking, we get an idea from which pages these events get fired. So. Um, in our particular example, the add to cart, uh, it has to occur on our website from the actual product pages. So we can see that defense primer, which was our top label in the, top in the last report, actually comes from that particular product page. Um, now how this might be different in other implementations are, let's use an example of a website where you want to get people to watch a video and you've placed that video in the right hand navigation of your website. So anybody, anybody can watch the video from any page. And if you're tracking that video event, you may see that particular specific video was played from 500 different pages, but it was mostly p played from a certain page for whatever reason. So it'll, this report is intended to sort of give you an idea of which pages are the most successful at getting people to trigger certain events. Again, in our particular example, it's not incredibly useful because the, uh, the specific events can only be fired from product pages themselves. So we're going to see pretty much an, an exact mirror of that. Um, so the some key points to remember with events are um, a this is probably going to be blank in your own profiles until you implement it there's some behind the scenes code that has to occur to tell people uh, or i'm sorry to tell google analytics that certain events are firing um, and then as you engineer them you do want to keep in mind meaning how you have them implemented from a technical standpoint you do want to keep in mind um, how these reports are structured so that you know that you're going to have a category report. So use logical category names that you're going to recognize. You have action reports, so use logical actions and labels. And just understanding how the structure of these reports is important because as, as you want to sort of organize all your events, you know, in, in some implementations you may have no events and other ones, you know, you could have 50 and you really want to keep them, uh, you know, logical in a way that somebody could come in and understand what's happening.